So have you ever thought when you finish a holiday, it's just a boring drive to go home? But what if you stop off on the way and tackle some official climbs? There's eight on the way home today. I'm gonna to see if I can do all of them. See if I can tick them all off. There's some good ones in there. The best the South East has to offer. Finishing at the Uffington White Horse. Hello, this morning I am in Chinna. I've got two official climbs. I've got Chinna itself and Kingston Hill, which I think is 122. So we've got a quick 20 minute spin, up and down, up and down, and then uh, off to the next. I'm trying to pick off eight today. Streetly Hill being the most famous of those. It's number 24 on the list. Hopefully take the week's tally to about 11, as I haven't done any this year. That's gonna be good, good addition. So this first one is Chinna Hill. Got a bit of a kink in it. Doesn't look too steep. I've just got to find my way to the bottom. I'm actually in the town, village of Chinna now. There are loads of postmen around. I think, uh, I think I've seen four just driving in. But anyway, let's get this done. And I see something shimmering in your eyes And they say if you want to oh, it's the future you need to face And you said put down your morning gun Would you follow me to wonder What a pretty climb this is right in the trees beautiful quite tough going as well i'm in the uh i'm in the 34 cassette the lowest gear i've got on the back and i'm just spinning this looks to be easing off a little bit but what a beautiful climb that's enough to put a smile on your face first thing in the morning there we go, yet another posty van to greet me at the summit of Chinna Hill. I've seen more postmen today than I've got work for me. <laughs> They're obviously all in Tame and in Chinna. Right, descent now, then at Kingston Hill, which has an average of 11%. Got a little bit of a head down trying to get there, because Deb's waiting in the van. I did say I'd only be 20 minutes. Take my hand and walk beside me in a world of thunder. Fear is unconstant. Right, so I'm on the climb now. Already going down through the gears. I was just thinking, in years gone by, I'd be powering up here. My legs would be dying. My lungs would be absolutely fine. The older I get, the lazier I get. I just keep going down into the, the gear that is the most comfortable for a little breathing. And then uh, you only run out of breath when it gets really steep. But this is a beautiful climb again. Winding back up onto the Chilterns. I don't miss those dead legs though. I do miss those lungs. Definitely miss those lungs. What a summit! Look at all these bluebells in here. We've been looking for blue bells all week and not really found any. And they're absolutely digging in there. Beautiful. Right, I'm back at the van. Quick two hills down. There was a nice cafe with serving an all day breakfast. So I might pop in there, grab a coffee and something to eat before we go to the next ones. Right, so I made my way over to the next one, Britwell Hill, which you can see right behind me, go straight up there. This is the Ridgeway coming across. So we're parked right by the Ridgeway. I'm gonna fly right up there. Uh, I don't know how long it is. I don't know how far it is, I don't know how steep it is, but I can see it and I can see the top. That's a good thing. Let's crack on, get this one done.
turned out to be 1.2k a steady 11 to 12 percent quite a toughy but the views back down are better than the views going up that's for certain you can see for miles up here now Yes, yeah, so a Britwell Hill, that is a beaut. Simple, but beautiful. Claim number four, Dudley Lane, goes all the way up there. It's 1.8 kilometers long, so nearly 2K long. You can see it winding up the top there. Right, 10%. Talk the talk, get This one's so long, just gonna pace myself. Trying to survive, it's only halfway through the day. Once done this one, four down, four to go. Seemed a good idea this morning. <laughs> Top section is flattened out somewhat now. I'm back up in the big ring. I'm sure there's another sting to come yet. Either the app lied or I read it wrong. Because I was definitely 15% back there before we hit the trees. Let's get beautiful again now. Just must say, the Chilterns look beautiful today. There's bluebells everywhere. Little lanes, very nice. Uh, 700 meters down, <laughs> we're not even halfway. Done. It's just the first bit. That first ramp you could see from where we parked the van was 10 to 15 percent. The rest of it's been pretty, pretty flattish. I didn't even know where to stop. I just had to check in the app to make sure I've actually completed the segment, which I have now. But what a beautiful little wood, set of woods up at the top of the hill here. That's uh, every single one today has been amazing. The southeast is winning 4 0. Look at this. Trees everywhere, squirrels, and all down out of the van. <laughs> right, climb number five. I'm in Whitchurch on Thames, about to go up Whitchurch Hill. We've just driven down it. It's 20%, all main road, very windy. Looks a bit nasty. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this one. <laughs> it's very narrow up through the trees. Looks a typical official climb. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I was waiting for the steep bit to come and I've now finished it apparently. Yeah, that one turned out rather easy. I only saw 13 as a maximum on my uh, Wahoo. It never got anywhere near 20. God knows what happened to that then. Right, another one ticked off, five down. Two more stops, three more climbs. So climb number six, we're doing number 24 now. This is one of the actual official 100s. This is Streetly Hill. It's a max of 18%. It's only 920 meters long, so quite a short one. So it could be straight up, straight back down, back in the van, and then off to the Uffington White Horse, which will be the last two climbs there. I think Blowing Stone Hill and Dragon Hill Road, uh, right from the White Horse. but. Yeah, it's been a lovely day. It's supposed to have been really heavy showers all over the place and managed to avoid them yet again. So um, we've literally had one shower of rain this week when we were at Stowe. Um, can't fault it really. <laughs> it's, it's lovely, it's sunny, about 18 degrees and uh, probably perfect for climbing. Just not getting too hot on the climbs, but yeah, Streaky Hill, let's get it done. 
and uh, get another one of the actual official 100 ticked off. glad this is only 900 meters because this is a pretty steady 13 14 percent tough oh we have 400 meters to go It's pretty relentless with the golf course right at the top. Six minutes ten, apparently, I did it according to my screen. Who knows? We'll find out when we get down. But they've, uh, as most of the climbs today have been through trees, and they've all looked very much similar, but just with different gradients. Again, beautiful. Beautiful. Right, the final two then. First, I'm just on Blowingstone Hill, which is 770 meters long and has gone up quite sharp. And then back up Dragon Hill Road to the Uffington White Horse. Oh, ow, I need another gear. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground Oh, that's one down. And now for the Dragon Hill Road. Yesterday has gone asleep Oh, I got a feeling this last one's gonna be very special. Dragon Hill Road, number 122, I believe. was amazing. <laughs> Best climb of the day. <sighs> amazing. There's no one left but you and me. It's like a made up place that only we can see. Hold my hand and hear the words I That's just say. an epic way to come back from a holiday instead of just a boring drive for hours. Just stop off cycle little bits, do some hill climbs on the way back. I've done eight climbs, I've done 11 this week. What a productive week for the official climbs tally. But that was amazing. And we finished with the best one, which I seem to do all the time. It's just unbelievable. The Uffington White Horse, Dragon Hill Road, 10 out of 10. I loved it, absolutely loved it. Right, I'm gonna go reward Debbie now for sitting in the van all day and let me play and go take her out somewhere for uh, for food, somewhere nice, um, and then go home.
and relax a little bit. But I mean, you can't beat these surroundings, can you? Look at this. <laughs> wow. Oh man. We will see you in the next video. I better wrap up and get going. Thank you for watching.